Vor langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. Die Dunkelheit trübte ihre Sinne und das Böse fraß sich tief in ihre Seelen. Vom Wahnsinn getrieben schmiedeten sie einen Pakt mit dem Teufel. Zu später Stunde kamen sie zusammen, um gemeinsam die Mächte der Finsternis mit ihrem sündigen Blut zu rufen. Sie zu erlösen von ihrer sterblichen Existenz, den Anbeginn einer neuen Welt vor Augen. Und so begab es sich, dass nach 100 Jahren das Böse wieder Fleisch geworden war. Als unsterbliches Geschöpf der Nacht kam es die Gestalt des Wolfs, der Fledermaus oder des Nebels annehmen. Es labt sich am Blut der Menschen. Dracula, der Fürst der Finsternis, Herr des Teufelsschlosses, ist auferstanden. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Castlevania Rondo of Blood. It's taken a while for me to set up trying to get this game to work because I tried a bunch of things. Good. Please don't go into the intro. Oh, thank you. Uh, I accidentally think I skipped the intro. Okay, Castlevania Rondo of Blood. This was originally released on the TurboGrafx 16. It's a PC engine game i don't know that that entire like generation of consoles i have very limited knowledge of but yeah this was originally released only in japanese there was an snes version called castlevania x or dracula dracula x that was very different to this it was like simplify they removed aspects of it so in many ways people consider that the lesser version of the game but yeah, I got this working. I'm very excited to play it in English in the original format. For emulation, obviously. But yeah, here we go with Rondo of Blood, which leads directly into Sympathy of the Night, which is what everyone is most known, uh, most knows about. And has played and is the most famous of the Castlevania games. But yeah, Rondo of Blood, let's go! This one is Richter Belmont. I am pretty sure... And this is just a, a, a thing I started for the episode while I was testing, so let's go. Oh no! It skipped the anime cutscene! Uh, give me a second. How does one... I don't actually remember. Dang it! No, 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 no. Resetting. Let's try that again. Don't actually know what's showing up right now, but I hope it's okay. May have to watch that intro again? Question mark? For, long For longest time. time. Okay. I, I also don't know why the intro is in German, but I'm all for it. I apologize I didn't read over it, but that would detract from the really cool looking cutscene. So yeah, let's I wanna delete this so you can see the really cool Intro. Richter. I'm pretty sure. Richter Belmont. Okay. Let's try that again. I swear it's worth it. It's really cool. Here we go. And that music is so good. I don't know what this console generation was, but it's got really 
high quality, like, look at this sprite work. It's just like a straight up anime cutscene. Obviously single stills, but look at that artwork and the music. Like straight up stills from something akin to Neon Genesis. Look at that. That was so cool! That's very impressive. And just look at the sprite work of this! Like, whatever this console generation was, is really good. I get, but also probably really niche. It, it was big in Japan, because I think the, like, E-series was on this as well. Look, it's Death! He's back again! See, so yeah, at least we have, like, a kind of... Expl Ow? A kind of explanation for why Dracula is back? Obviously, like, a bunch of... I, I don't know what he said. Oh my goodness, that is a gigantic... Next time it won't be so easy? Alright. But yeah, this is just so cool. Oh man. As far as I know, this console was more popular in uh, Japan. Okay, so there's no multi directional whip. It's. Oh, sweet! You can actually change what sub weapons you want. Oh, this is like straight out of Simon's Quest! Dude, this is cool. I am all for this already. Like, straight up, this is Simon's Quest. It plays wonderfully. So this is still like... This is like a, a refined version of... What's it called? Um, the classic formula. Oh god, those things are in this game? I can't remember what they're called, but... Seeing them fills me with dread. Amazingly. There. <laughs> I guess it's just a uniform thing that the save state buttons are always the same. Oh, this is a this is a beautiful game. Like we just played Super Castlevania 4, and I love the style of that. But oh my goodness. I do miss the multi-directional whip. I will say that much. What in the world is this gigantic man's? But the sprite work for this is incredible. It's so nice and clean looking. Oh goodness, ow, ow, ow. That's a, also a pretty interesting take on the... Health bar? It's quite different. But I'm very impressed by this game looks and sounds! We have full-on voice acting. That's also a dragon in the background. Dude, this is the intro to Castlevania! Oh my goodness! I am most definitely gonna die. Oh man, poor 
slime. I mean, Richter. Oh, I don't even have a sub weapon. Oh, wow. That's really generous. There's no health bar? I mean... Oh, I do have credits. Rest? What does that... I don't... Oh, this is so cool, though. This music is also, like, really, really good. Okay, this, this boss fight is not that hard. Has good tells and everything. That's that. Oh, this is so cool. This feels like something that you play on an arcade machine. Like, I know the NES was meant to be something akin to a home console arcade machine, but this probably even more so. Stage clear, life, 92 times 10, heart, 8, 100, no damage bonus, 1 up. Okay, so that is, you know, what's credits? It's credits, like, God grant me strength. I'm gonna do one more level, at least. No, you don't, you dingus, bony. Yeah. I still kind of want the axe over the dagger. This is just cool. I know I've just started playing this. Straight up, this is probably the best of the original style of Castlevania. I think it's... My... my... Bias is showing. I I do mi I mean, there were still- What the heck? What is this? Oh, this Axe Knight is popping off! I can't duck those? What? Okay, that was just... Terrible on my part. I guess I have to go... I do miss the multi-directional whip. That's like... something for sure I wish I still had. And now that I don't, I kinda miss it. Because, you know, it's a bit hard to get enemies that are above you. So I'm guessing, as well, Richter doesn't have, like, a multiple... Oh, goodness, what the... Why do I jump there? Am I doing something... Am I press... Oh, my goodness! Yo! This guy has become like a mini boss. Okay, I'm impressed. That was actually difficult. I think I'm too overconfident. It's my favorite little zombie man. Okay, if this is how I think it is going to be. There should be, like, a path down, which will lead to Merman. I don't know, I like- I- Oh, no! I am definitely too overconfident. This is 100% more like the originals. Maybe even the first one. Because I can't maneuver in the air anymore. I can turn and, like, attack backwards, but my air maneuverability is nowhere near what I could do as uh, Simon in Super Castlevania 4. This is like, old school, like there. I took damage because I couldn't maneuver in the air to not take the damage. So I gotta keep that in mind. I'm back to the old school. No, 
Like that. I should just stop jumping in the air. I say as I jump in the air. And I can still at least climb stairs. But I gotta relearn. I gotta relearn the game. Otherwise, I'm gonna be the one that's screwed. I have the vastly superior holy water, though. Richter's holy water is just so much better. In, like, almost every conceivable. I think I got another level up. What in the world is happening? Oh god! Oh god! No! What? What is- I just- I pull a key out of nowhere? Dude, look at that enemy design, though. I don't know what the key is for. I also have absolutely no idea if I can actually kill this thing. I, at least I can move faster than it. Okay, so the key was for this. Oh god, it's still here. Nice. It's so cool, though. I am definitely gonna have to get used to the movement system overall. It's quite a bit different. And by different, I mean it's exactly like the original Castlevania. Oh, it's my favorite weapon, sub weapon, but this key! This key, though! Yeah, here's my favorite hallway that I constantly talk about. Look at the animation, though! It's so cool! Sorry, I'm just gonna, like, constantly talk about how cool this game is, because this game is really cool. Big up. That's where the key's for. Budge, so I guess there's like multiple pathways. I just wanted the sub weapon, so. There goes me actually. I'm just leaving? I mean, I guess I could go back. No, no, I don't think I can, actually. Oh well. I wonder where that leads me to then. Yeah, what, what, where does that bottom path? No, I kind of want... I want the, the holy cross. It... The first boss of here. Oh, it's the bat, right? This has to be the bat. No? Well, that's where you fight the bat. What? I got debated. This looks like a wolf man? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's like... Straight up... Oh my god! Yo, this boss fight though?! Dude, this is cool! This is so cool! This is legitimately like a Mega Man boss fight. Oh shit. Butch! Yo, though! Look at that sprite work, man. 
I am going to be put at such a disadvantage in comparison to having the, the Holy Whip, or Star. But I will have a lot more health. It's just... The cross... Throwing weapon is so much better. I could be wrong. I just would re what in the world? This is so cool though! I mean, it also really feels like I'm fighting a, a Mega Man boss. Oh god. Dude, this is so scary! Wait, am I dead? Oh god! That was so cool! Oh. I'd like to say I had like no life and no heart. Yeah! The evil prayer summons darkness. I I definitely want to call it an episode for now. As much as I want to continue on. Oh, this is just... I've had a smile on my face the entire time. This is so cool. And I'm glad to be playing it. This, this game is sick. But yeah. Hope you join me next time for the next episode. Bye-bye!